I think Google did uh, really mm, a lot of good to the uh, ecosystem by starting Go, by funding the, the team, and by investing so much in it. And to, to the point that I think they don't get as much credit as they should. Uh, I have plenty of negative to say about Google too. You know, uh, it's this is this is not an ad, but I feel like people don't realize how much the Go team is focused on the community much more than the Go, uh, Google internal um, uses. But still, the problem is that. Um, Teams like that inside a company uh, don't scale well when the project is successful. Uh, and I've seen this at all sorts of companies. I've seen this at Microsoft, I've seen this at Google, I've seen this uh, all over the place. So it's really not a Google-specific or Go-specific uh, pathology in a sense. What happens is that the project gets successful. Uh, more and more uh, external users use it. Uh, and so more and more maintainer time is uh, required and the maintainers have more and more work to do. But at the same time, the value to the company doesn't really grow as much because the value to the company was branding and senior um, engineering recruitment and internal expertise. And those don't double every time the, the user base doubles. Yeah, they kind of stay where they are. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And so what happens is that the... Uh, resources don't increase, the uh, uh, workload increases, people burn out, they start churning, and now it, since a team, I like the concept that a team is the connections between its people, not its nodes. A team is a collection of edges, not of nodes. And so as people uh, churn, the team is less efficient, inevitably, and so work increases more and more. And I've seen that happen with so many teams to the point that sometimes you sit down with the fellow maintainer and they're like, oh yeah, that the entire team that maintains that thing at that company has quit. And you go like, oh yeah, tell me about it. That's, mm, uh, I recognize exactly how that goes, huh?